Alright you guys, it's me again and I'm doing an unboxing. Now I know you guys all love a bit of cardboard. There you go, a bit of cardboard. And what have I gone and done now? Well, let's just get into it shall we? Have a look, see what I got in the box. And today... I'm going to use my orange peeler. I think this is quite appropriate. And you can file things with it as well. Very handy this for peeling oranges and unboxings. So let's get into it and eh? see what I've got in this box. Now, it's quite a long box. So here we go. Let's have a look, see. Quick cut there, quick cut, come on, get in there, oh yeah, there we go, it's getting there, and we're in, we're in guys, put the orange peeler away, now, what have we got first, well, we got some shredded cardboard. What have we got second? Some more shredded cardboard. Didn't want you there. Be gone. Oh, <laughs> come on. I do like my pew pews. I really, really do. This one's more of an impression than anything else, so let's get straight to it. Let's not mess about. Let's see. In this here box is a bit of an evolution. Yes, I have got myself a variation of the evolution. Let's get in here and see what we can see. Well, first of all, we have foam. Oh my God, that's pretty. Oh, that, 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 that is... That's pretty. Let's get to it. Well, first of all, we have this. Yep. Second of all, we have this. <gasps> How dare they? You'll see in a minute. A P mag. These are quite good, these, because you can flick them. All right. Let's get to it. Now, the front of this is going to give you a bit of a shot, but don't worry. I'll be changing that up soon enough when I do like the, the proper review on it. But this is more like a first impression. So, let's get to it. Oh. That's got a good weight to it. Yeah, you see what I mean about that? Americans. Will it come off? Yes, it will. Let's do it now. Yeah. How dare they? Americans and their damn ideas. Not good. You know, it don't take much to make a pew pew look gorgeous. Doesn't that look much better? Yeah. 
flip ups. Alright, yeah, the plastic, but they are adjustable for windage and elevation, and they're easy to put away. But it will be getting a scope. Daniel Defence style front rail, adjustable stock. How many is it adjusting by? Right, let's go. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. See what the selector feels like. Oh, that's a nice solid click. Yeah. Now this puppy, the Evolution Mark 18 Mod 1, is full metal. Bolt doesn't hold back, but it doesn't matter, it reveals the hop quite nicely. Nice grip, very ergonomics, but yeah, that Mark 18 look. Why? Oh, yeah, let's complete the picture. Yeah. That looks the business. And it's respectably light. You know what? Let's chuck a battery in it. Now, if I remember rightly, it is on a small TAM. Right, just get an adapter and a battery. Give me a minute, don't go away. Don't go. Let's get back to it. Right, here we are, put an adapter on it. Pop it together. Stuff it in the, get in that tube. How dare you come back out. See what she sounds like. Are we ready? Not bad. Now, what I've read about this, it comes with a 6.1 tight bore barrel, and boy, is that tight. A upgraded gearbox. That sounds really, really good. Well, there you go, guys. My first impression of the Mark 18 Mod 1 and I've got to be honest with you I'm not disappointed let's have a listen to Full Auto not bad at all well when I've got a few more bits for it I'm changing it out to a, a slenderer stock something a little bit more pretty but yeah that is quite decent. I'm happy with that. And like I say, get a nice little red dot on there, torch, maybe a pet box, and away it goes. Well, there you go, guys. The Mark 18 Mod 1 from Evolution. You are going to see this thing transform into a beast. So, next up on this one will be the chrono, the shooting test and hopefully some of the bits that I'm ordered for it will have turned up and we can get that on film as well. So I will 
catch you up on this one because this is going to be a build a build of a build till next time guys be safe play safe and always call your freaking hits ha have fun all right guys well You've seen the unboxing of the Mark 18. I'm talking with me freaking hands again. Anyway, yeah, the Mark 18 from Evolution. I've had this gun out now for a few occasions. And like I say, you've seen the unboxing and I've decided to tap this onto it. And <laughs> what an awesome bit of kit. Now, I'm going to tell you that when I first chronoed it, it was shooting around about 280, 260, 280. And uh, yeah, PB, stop bloody ham fist cutting them damn springs you made a right botch of it. So, I stuck an M100 in this thing and it took it up to 330, 340 FPS. Why didn't you just put an M100 in it? What would it have cost you? A couple of quid? You get them for nothing. Anyway, enough ranting about PB. They have the moments. So anyway, yeah. The Mark 18. Like I said, I chuck a red dot on it. Put a little stubby on the front so you can uh, give it the old tactical grip. But, oh, man alive, this can launch them. This is one of my KWA mags, by the way. It's not the original one. The original one's like a P mag. But, you know, the selector, like I said, lovely solid clicks into position. It, it's brilliant at what it does. It slings BBs. With a Daniel Defence style rail in the correct colour, or correct-ish, as you know, treads go, if you know what I mean. But still, this is a fantastic bit of kit. I'm absolutely brilliant for CQB. Get on target quick with your red dot, no messing about. Piece of piss, mag changes. See what I mean? Strip. Oh, I hope I didn't break that. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I keep forgetting about these plunges on these ones. But yeah, you've got to shove them in. And then you can pop it in. But yeah, straight back on target, no either. Now, there's no battery in this and stuff. And obviously, that doesn't lock back. But it does make a nice satisfying drop when it... it Slams forwards, fake do that, wrestling plate, but yeah, what, what a decent bit of kit. Now, I don't get sponsored by any of these airsoft companies, do you know, considering how many reviews I do about stuff, I should be getting sponsored by somebody. Anyway, forget that bit, let's get back to the awesome stuff. Airsoft pew pews, you can't top them, and especially when they work like this thing does. Now, obviously, you can stick a 6.1 in a barrel in it, a decent hot rubber, you can upgrade a gearbox of a cheaper one, but you're going to spend 160 quid on a gun. You're going to spend another 28, 30 quid on a barrel, another centre on a hot rubber. It's going to cost more than this. And this is already upgraded, which isn't bad. Now, double bell are just as good, but they are cheaper. And after a few rounds of playing, I decided to upgrade it and I made mine an epic gun. You've seen the 416 review. Yeah, it is now a good gun, but I had to spend money on it. 
and that took it from uh, 180 to just shy of 250 by the time I finished tinkering with it and then with a few external bits and pieces maybe up towards 300 where this one is just literally that the stubby and the gum has just took it to just over 200 and it slings BBs for fun I mean what a range and like I say uh, 330 FPS to be conservative about it it does the job great little gun and yeah 40 mil CCW so your flash hiders and your tracer units the majority of and your dummy mock suppressors for hiding your longer barrel whatever you want to put on it but yeah not a bad bit of kit and there you go guys if you like my unboxing and my little bit of a catch up on how this thing did give us a like give us a share subscribe it costs nothing and it helps me bring out these reviews because the more people that see this stuff the more people that get the information they might need to hear who knows could be a winner 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 chicken dinner oh i could do a chicken dinner get sidetracked right as i always do be safe play safe always call your freaking hits till next time guys